Hello friends, today we'll be discussing which food products are the best and which food products are the worst in patients having significant kidney related stones. Kidney stones are a very common problem. There are various types of kidney stones and perhaps each type of kidney stones will have a specific sort of a dietary recommendation. Although in this topic we'll be discussing more of the various types of food products which might be useful in most of these types of kidney stones. But still, if at all you have a calcium related stone, there might be calcium related issues. If I have a uric acid related stone, then that will be the issue. If you have an oxalate stone, then that will be the focus of interest. So individualization of the diet is essential whenever you are dealing with a particular type of kidney stone. But in this topic, we'll be doing a more sort of a general discussion about the best foods and the worst foods which are usually recommended for patients having kidney stone related problems. First of all, whenever you are dealing with any kidney stone or any uh, nephrolithiasis patient, the most important food stuff which is recommended is water. The uh, best food stuff which can be recommended to any patient of kidney stone, if some my patient asked me one thing, so you tell me which is recommended, I am having a stone problem, even without asking which type of stone I am dealing with, I will tell them to drink more water because 8 to 10 glasses of water will help in diluting the urine and whatever crystals and uh, minerals are being excreted inside the urine will be flushed out with that excess amount of water. So whenever you are dealing with any patient of kidney stone, first thing we should instruct them is to uh, take in too much amount of water, especially when the patient is engaged in a hot weather or patient who are passing, you are having a constant participation in any physical activity or playing outdoor sports, they should take more and more water. Next is citrus fruits. Citrus fruits like oranges, lemons and grapefruit have a large amount of citric acid, which decreases the chances of forming any stones inside the kidney. Usually this citric acid can combine with the calcium crystals and usually this prevents the deposition of calcium inside the urinary tubules and thereby preventing the formation of stones. Green leafy vegetables like spinach, kale and collard greens are rich in magnesium which prevent the uh, formation of kidney stones. But uh, usually magnesium, although it is helpful in formation of kidney stones, but there are some green leafy vegetables, especially spinach, which contains a large amount of oxalate. And large amount of oxalate is usually bad because oxalate stones are the most common types of stones formed inside the kidney. So it is a dicey thing whether you should take this or not. Or not. Magnesium content of these things will be helpful, but the oxalate content may or may not be helpful. That is why kale, collard green, uh, spinach and cabbage can be considered a very good products. But uh, you should keep in mind that the oxalate content might be harmful. So people having only calcium stone or not oxalate related stones might be better off taking this foodstuffs. People having more of oxalate related stones may not be the best candidates for uh, green leafy vegetables. Low fat dairy products are usually considered a good alternative. Usually, although excess amount of calcium which is taken might filter out into the urinary tubules and lead to formation of kidney stones. But uh, if at all you are taking a low fat alternative and a low fat uh, source of calcium, then usually it is considered that the chances of deposition of this calcium inside the urinary tubule might be lesser as compared to a higher fat related derivative. Although overall the intake of calcium I think perhaps should be reduced if at all you are dealing with patient having calcium related kidney stones. For other kidney stones it might be useful. Whole grains like brown rice, quinoa and uh, wheat, brown wheat bread are usually having a higher rich concept of fiber content. Fiber in the uh, GI tract will help in reduction in absorption of the calcium. They will bind with the calcium and get it uh, excreted inside the GI tract only. So calcium entering into the bloodstream will be lesser with these. Fruits like bananas, oranges and strawberries are usually considered a good source of potassium which can reduce the chances of formation of kidney. Uh, stones, usually any food stuff which has a high amount of water can help in reduction of chances of formation of kidney stones. Any lean protein like chicken, fish or turkey are uh, considered good source of protein and uh, considering the fact that they contain a lesser amount of fat, they are less likely to form stones and might be helpful. Uh, nuts and seeds like almonds, cashews and sunflower seeds are good source of magnesium which can help with reduction of kidney stones and reduction in formation of calcium related stones. Herbs and spices like basil, cinnamon, turmeric usually have anti-inflammatory properties which can prevent the formation of kidney stones and they can also add flavor to your food stuff and prevent the intake of salt. Salt is usually considered a bad food product and usually dehydrates the urine and makes the urine more and more concentrated. Increasing the blood viscosity, it will help uh, the kidney tubules absorb more and more water which will make the urine dry and this will increase the chance of formation of kidney stones. That is why any food which decreases the amount of sodium content in the food might be helpful in reduction of kidney stones.
Watermelon is considered to be a good source of water and potassium, so it will reduce the chance of kidney stone formation. Similarly, apple cider vinegar is considered to good, be a good source of citrate, which will help in prevention of kidney stones. You can add this to water and uh, this will increase the fluid intake also and will decrease the chances of having kidney stones. Similarly, olive oil contains a large amount of good source of uh, unsaturated fatty acids which reduce the inflammation inside the urinary tract. So, it will reduce the chances of inflammation and stone formation. Cucumber is considered to be a good source of water. It contains uh, potassium and uh, that can help in reduction of kidney stones. Pomegranate juice can help uh, by decreasing the inflammation inside the urinary tract. It contains good amount of antioxidants. It has water content and uh, it can help in flushing out the kidney stones. Similarly, cherries also contain large amount of fiber content and antioxidants which can reduce the uh, formation of kidney stone. They also are having lesser amount of oxalates which can reduce the chance of kidney stone formation. Now we will be discussing which are the worst foodstuffs when it comes to formation of kidney stones. The worst foodstuff which can be uh, incremented in formation of kidney stones is sodium. Any patient with kidney stone instructed to take lesser amount of sodium. The more is the amount of sodium, it will dehydrate the urine and increase the deposition of the crystal inside the urine and will increase the chances of formation of kidney stones. Any animal protein which is containing a large amount of meat like meat, poultry and fish can increase the chance of uh, kidney stone formation by increasing the formation of uric acid and calcium inside the urine. So, too much of animal protein or too much of animal purines can risk the chances of formation of kidney stones especially with the calcium and uric acid stones. Any food containing large amount of oxalate contain like spinach, rhubarb and beets can increase the risk of formation of oxalate related stones. So, any patient having calcium oxalate stone should be advised not to take any green leafy vegetables like especially spinach, rhubarb and beets. Patients should be advised to like lesser amount of processed beverages, processed foods contain high amount of sugar because sugar can contribute to the dehydration of the urine and contribute to the increased risk of stone formation. Caffeine present in tea, coffee and other caffeinated drinks and chocolate drinks can also be a source of stone formation inside the urine. Uh, you should always try to take lesser and lesser amount of caffeine in your day-to-day -day, uh, diet if at all you are uh, having the problem of kidney related stones. Similarly, any high purine foods like organ meats, uh, sardines and other fishes which are containing high amount of animal purines, they can be metabolized into uric acid and they can increase the chances of formation of kidney stones. So, you should reduce the intake of these food products. Similarly, vitamin C supplements, in, if at all they are taken in high dose, they can be metabolized into oxalate which can contribute to the formation of kidney stones. So, they should be avoided. Alcohol is also bad for the people who are taking this in large quantity. So, uh, alcohol should also be avoided in patients having kidney stones. Similarly, carbonated beverages are also bad for the patient who are dealing with kidney stones because they increase the amount of calcium inside the urine and they can usually uh, add too much amount of uh, sugar also inside the body which is usually considered bad for kidney stones patients. Any food product containing high amount of salts whether it is snacks, potato chips or snacks or similarly uh, french fries or something which contains amount of salt can usually be bad in formation of kidney related stones. It can increase the excretion of calcium inside the urine and can dehydrate the urine which can increase stone formation. Similarly, grapefruit juice and cranberry juice can increase the chances of uh, kidney stone formation especially when the patients are having previously existing oxalate stones because these products can have large amount of oxalate content in them. Similarly, tomato juice and tomato soups and tomato ketchups can increase the oxalate content of the body and they can also lead to the formation of oxalate stones. So, people should avoid tomato ketchups and tomato products. Fast foods like burgers, fries, pizzas and other things containing high oil, salt and high fat content should be avoided. So, should be the processed meats like sausage, bacon and other forms of meat which contain high amount of salt and purine content because they can lead to formation of large amount of stones inside the kidney. Soya products like tofu and soya milk are otherwise considered healthy but they have a high oxalate content and people having oxalate related stones are advised not to take this because this will increase the chances of them developing uh, kidney related stones or oxalate stones inside the kidney. So, in this topic we have discussed the best foods and the worst foods when it comes to kidney related stones. Although this is a generalization but specific amount of stones will require a specific diet for each type. But essentially the patients who are having any stones of the kidney can follow this uh, dictum and the best foods and the worst foods can be selected in and out accordingly and this will help in reduction of the chances of recurrence or formation of new kidney stones. So, if at all you have any comments, queries, suggestions pertaining to this topic or any other topics on which you want us to make more videos upon 
any patient related queries you can write to us about them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to take those topics in future if at all you have uh, you are new to my channel i would request you to subscribe to my channel as this gives us a lot of motivation and inspiration to continue the channel in future the people who do not want such huge summary of huge uh, details of the topics for them we are constantly uploading youtube shorts in which we give a one minute summary of the important and salient features of most of the topic you can subscribe to our channel and you can also follow us on facebook and instagram where we are also uploading these shorts in the form of reels and there you can use these reels as health tips and you can forward it to your friends relatives and your social media groups so that the other people can also benefit out of these the people who have a difficulty in finding the relevant content on my channel for them we are constantly dividing all our topics inside the channel in the form of various uh, playlists you can go to the specific playlist the link i am leaving for you in the description box in the chat section and you can find the link of your particular topic you can click on the link and that will help you in finding the relevant topic without wasting too much of time